Well, y'all, thanks for uh, good friends and good neighbors. Uh, buddy over here let me park there. I don't know if you can see what I'm seeing, but I told you it's that time of year. Doesn't look that bad from up here, but that's 20 to 30 feet wide flowing down there. I'll show you guys a little bit when I get to it. Creek's already up and the flooding's not done, so still have a lot of rain to come. I'm just trying to get to the babies to check on them. <clears throat> I've kind of gotten this curtailed now, which is good. If you guys remember last year, I had water about a foot up on the back of the barn here, and it'll eventually wash inside the barn. So I've trenched out back here, rerouted the water that comes off of this hill here. Kind of got everything moving that way. Routed it straight down away from the buck barn. It used to flow down and flood under the buck barn. You never know until the rains come, and then you can see where the water goes. So, nice. I dug a really long uh, angled trench down here. Flows from high to low. So everything goes down that way. It's either that way or that way. If I go that way, I have to dig a much deeper hole and a much longer channel. So I couldn't get across. You can actually see the bridge now. It's It hasn't rained hard in about an hour or so. But we're getting ready to get hit. Yeah, this is flowing beautifully. Nice. I don't know if I showed you guys that I dug this or not. I dug this and then I, I keep building this bank above it as I, as I dig this out every year. I, I put uh, all the dirt up here to kind of stop the flow, let it trickle into there, not slamming into the back of the barn. So if you guys know the, the wow, the bridge is actually, I can actually see it now. This is a bit of a mess. Ugh. But yeah, we got a little bit of flooding going on. Uh, people want to know why I put my bridge where I put it, and that's that's why. I talked about it before, but somebody had asked why I didn't put it straight down from the door opening. And that's simply because this is the highest spot that's also not 30 to 40 feet wide when you're looking at floodwaters. This is 16 feet. This bridge is 16 feet across. So... She might have got lifted up out of there a little bit. I don't know if my man bridge is still there or not. It was metal and it had grown into the ground pretty well. The, the dirt had come up through the slats and the grass was growing over it, which is what I wanted. It's just to hold on. Fence is there. Probably going to bend my posts a little bit with the pressure that's on it. I'm going to see if I can relieve some of that and check on the babies. Morning, babies. Yeah, for the record, <laughs> it should be daylight. You guys are high and dry. Nice. Water used to flow. Uh, I don't... Water used to flow right through here. We didn't know. Uh, we built the barn and then literally we had all the posts up this, the... Uh, I think we had the, I'm not sure if we had the siding on or not, but we got one of these storms the very next day and the water was just flowing through, flowing through the barn. <laughs> I know the concrete wasn't down yet. Nice. I've done it. I just, I'm working with what I got here, guys. And I just, I'm slow and I'm patient and I watch and I wait. And as, as the floods come and the floods go, I rearrange the earth. That sounded more epic than, than what it is. As the floods come and the floods go, I, I dig more trenches and reroute water and make sure it's not flowing under my foundations and properties. And I'm getting there, I'm getting there. 
I got it. I want to figure out how to get this one out of here. Might just have to do the same thing I did in the back there, which is just dig a nice big trench right down the side there and route it into this ditch and move it all that way. So, uh, all right. So the water's down about a foot. Uh, when I got up, Mama Sita, the baby, they're okay. They're in their stall. When I got up, I uh, couldn't see the bridge at all. So if you guys take note of take note of what you're seeing, this is a uh, this whole area down here is a little plateau, and the goats like to hang out on that. And then this is their little climbing tree right here, over there in the water. That's their little climbing tree where they were hanging out the other day. <clears throat> I can't hear much of that because of the rain, but uh, yeah, cool. All right. Could always be worse. <laughs> All right. Are we past what's up guys? Welcome back. <laughs> Come on, boys. Come on, my little chubby man. Mm, mar, mar. Oh, itch your butt out here, buddy. Scratch your butt out there, buddy. Thanks. So. Fun times. Good morning, Miss Mississippi, a.k.a. the Gooch. A.k.a. Gucci. All right, let me let these ladies out. And the other ladies back in. <laughs> Mama, Mama Gummy's been, been a little spitfire guarding her little, little baby. She was totally freaked out when I let her out on the porch. I don't know if they're aware of the flooding and the rain and that, and she was concerned with their safety. But that was that was a heightened reaction compared to normal. The second moment you've all been waiting for. Usually they're piled up right here. They are not. No. No. See. No. Ta-da! Let me latch this. <laughs> Good morning, Hoppy Pants. Hi. Look at that pole. The pole was the, technically the pole is uh, the top of the head. And I think in like Dutch or something, it means top of the hill. So I think maybe that's where that came from. You got some, Mama, you got some fuzzy headed babies. So sadly, not sadly. These guys are absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, yeah, we had another baby cookie. Look at you. You're beautiful. So, uh, here's a little bit of video from their birth. Okay, well, it's been an exciting day here on the farm. <laughs> We're trying to stay calm, stay back. She's, like, first freshener. She's acting like... She's not sure what to do, but her brain is saying, lick that baby. You see her tongue going 100 miles an hour. And as she talks or he talks, we've never, what's it called? It's called Marconium. Marconium, Marconium right? Yeah. And we've never had that happen where she pooped in the actual uh, sack. She's pretty gross. She basically came out in a poo slurry. Um, so, oh, first licks. We just kind of backed off because mom was being sketchy. And, uh, yeah, as soon as baby started talking to her, she got, got a little more excited about cleaning it off. She's basically like, what is that? Uh, what is that thing? <laughs> Get it away from me. There she goes. Yeah. She was. She was like, what the crap? So that's a huge she's baby. Big, yeah. she's big. Like huge. Dirty that it no, I didn't. Oh, I you I'm I'm speaking girl into the world. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, thought you I don't want to say he's big because I want to say she's big because, because I, we, we just we, we just had four boys today. Uh, yesterday, if you're watching this video today, um, 
She is up and on the move. I guess it's the boy. Based on size. Mm -hmm. That's really gross. Yeah. Like really gross. We do not have those very often. I don't know that we, I don't remember ever having one. Do you? Like, I, I can't. Don't we, I don't know if we've never had one, but we've definitely been To that level, at least. Yeah, exactly. Not noticeable. I mean, that but was We cool. even noticed when she first started pushing, when she first had a bubble. Well, I thought like, something was wrong. Yeah, we don't yeah. like the look of, like, the cloudiness in the sack. I really thought it was going to be a dead yeah. baby or a mummified baby. Nope, it was just a poopy baby. Just poopy. Well, she's been working on. Thanks to my sleuthing skills, I just found out it's a doe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't pick on me. Okay. Although, I'm pretty sure they like when you pick on me, actually. <laughs> you bunch of weenies. That's my official first time calling y'all a bunch of weenies instead of just calling the babies weenies. So, we're on one. She's getting all dirty. You know, She's get that off of her. I mean, get some nice dry hay on her. Black Swiss and Buckskin. Black Swiss and Buckskin. So now we know, so now we know Mississippi carries black, black and, all and we know she's Buckskin. buckskin. She's buckskin <laughs> but now we know what she carries. Uh, okay, we're going to have a bunch of cookie babies running around here. Blue eyed. Hi. Oh, hi. Hello. That's a couple monsters, Mom. That might be they're it. Big. Yeah, they're big. Both might be one more small one in there, but I would think that was it. Can we get our, oops, so are we back to ratio? <laughs> mm, nope. Boy. Looks like, yep. Ornaments. Ornaments. Not the Christmas kind. That gummit. That's not good. That's five boys in one day. That's five boys in one girl in one day. In one day. <laughs> good well, she, night. That might, that might be it. Well, he's not, not pretty, that's for sure. He's ready to go. <laughs> Baby death nap. Hey. Wake up. Are you awake? Good. And mom has been doing very good. Babies are doing very good. She's still a little touch me not, even though we were in here when she kitted. Uh, I didn't get a lot of footage, but she, she, so first freshener versus second freshener versus, you know, like putting them up and who kitted like four or five times. You don't know what to expect with them. You don't know how they're going to react to labor and kidding. And she, she showed none of the classic signs. Usually there is mom is in labor. You can see her sides contracting. You can see her her sides drop, especially this one, because you guys know she was she was flat like a table on top. And normally you can see them drop down. The babies are getting into the birth canal, so the sides drop down and sink in a little bit. Mom lays down, stands up, digs a nest, flutters about, does a few standard things. She did absolutely zero of that. We were just sitting here and Moon Pie had just kitted. And so we were over there playing with her babies and looking at them and getting them on teed and all that kind of stuff and just hanging out, playing with them. We were in the barn, so we knew we could listen. If she really started pushing, she would be screaming to some degree. And we would just pop over here. She was done. Moon Pie was completely done. All the babies were up and dried off and good. Uh, maybe been like 30 minutes. And we had been with these guys like 36 hours on the hour, every hour, throughout the night, throughout the day. And so she wasn't showing any of the classic signs of anything happening, any progression, other than just kind of her behavior changed a little bit. But nothing, nothing out of the ordinary that said, you guys have to sit here and wait on me. So we had taken care of Moon Pie and all her babies and... We came over here, sat with her maybe for like 10 or 15 minutes. We got up. We we're like, let's just go to the house, use the restroom, get a drink, whatever. You never know if it's going to be a long night. So stay hydrated. <laughs> right, babies? Go stay hydrated, mom. Hi, beautiful. Hi. You're absolutely stunning. You passed none of that baby face marks. Hi. Are you going to let me pet you? Okay. 
uncomfortably, but still letting. Uh, so we went, we, we, we had gotten up, we'd closed the gate, we were getting ready to walk out. We walked back over here and just peered down over the stall to see what was going on, if anything was, you know, happening or not. And she just let out this scream and H said, oh, that's a bubble. So she was bubbling. I think I cut it out of yesterday's video. You'll hear us say bubbling in a video. And that's when she's basically pushing a baby out and all you see is the sack. And it just looks like a bubble of fluid. We've just started calling that bubbling to, you know, for our language between us. So we know what's happening. Uh, we just call it bubbling. So H said, she's bubbling. And I was like, ah, <laughs> jump in here. So we jumped in here and got busy. And I honestly don't remember. Hopefully the video shows who was first, second, and third. Uh, but she has three beautiful babies. One of them is a boy. The big white one is a boy. And then these two beautiful does. So minus all of her beautiful uh, white breakup on her body, this is what she would look like. This very, this is almost like an, a, like a wild rabbit coloring. I don't know if you can see that or not. Very dark front, very dark back. Classic buckskin, face stripes. <laughs> Hi, mommy. A uh, little brown under the neck there sometimes, but this one is frosted as well. Teaching you guys the... You can always go here. I'll put the link down below, the Nigerian Dwarf Goat page, the color page. It is a fantastic read. You can pop in there and, and scroll down, go to uh, colors and patterns. There's a little header at the top. Just click on colors and patterns, and you can just scroll down, and you can find find out what, you know, whatever girl you like. I know everybody has their favorites. I hear it in comments all the time. So, so-and-so, you know, Mississippi's my favorite goat of all time, or gummy, or, or whatever. But you guys can scroll down through there and just find their patterns and read about them. And so this is just classic buckskin. Classic buckskin. A little mark here, divided by a little line here. Black down the legs. Some crossing on the front right here in foot. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But man alive, you guys, these babies are massive. I don't want to say they're five pounds a piece, but they're probably five pounds a piece. And this is uh, just for a first time kidder. She did tear a little bit. She went straight at it. I don't think I've ever had a goat go from zero to 100 like that. So generally as the baby's coming out, everything is slowly opening up, relaxing, allowing for the babies to come out without doing any damage. And she just went straight to pushing. And then whichever one came first, and I honestly don't remember, had pooped in their sack. And I don't know if I got it on video or not. So, <laughs> do, you, do you have an itch? <laughs> uh, classic buckskin. We did not get any of the excitement I was hoping for out of her. We do now know that she carries black and buckskin because this little guy. Oh. Because this little guy is black with abundant white or white overlay. And this one is buckskin. So these are mellow Mississippi babies. And since we know mellow is black, he can only pass black. A goat has to have... <laughs> Hi, Mr. Hopsies. What are you doing, buddy? You got such a fuzzy head. Your head is so fuzzy. You got them brown eyes? Yep. <laughs> oh, dancey pants. Baby goat's dancing. Mom has blue eyes, so this one has blue eyes. So we now know she carries black, buckskin, and she is heterozygous for blue eyes, which means she carries a brown eye gene and a blue eye gene. If she's homozygous for blue eyed, that would mean she carries only blue eyed gene and she can only pass blue eyes. <laughs> you got a little wisp of brown right there. 
Now, buckskins are fun or interesting. If you guys remember Kevin way back, Kevin doing Kevin stuff. Kevin was born a buckskin like this, but he looks like a completely black goat now because his cape, and this happens, the black cape will extend back the body as they age and it'll just cover everything. So you could start out with a buckskin and end up with a black goat. So that's important to know when you're kidding and breeding. You cannot leave. Look at you, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Your mama passed a good face. It's your big fuzzy head, it's cracking me up. <laughs> you don't have a fuzzy head. You build like your mama, you got a fuzzy face. <laughs> so, we haven't named them yet either. Uh, we're gonna go with all, I don't know, for these two, we're going with Greek gods and goddesses. <laughs> Let me go over this last one. I don't know why, I just felt like it and that's what we're doing. She got the most beautiful breakup in her buckskin. So she's a buckskin too. She would look exactly like this one. Look at this, it wisps up on both sides. Like that. <laughs> Look at you. Oh, here's the more classic line right here with the division in the brown. You don't have, oh, I thought your head was fuzzier. It's not. Hi. Hello. This one. Yes, it's a screamer. Yes. The face is beautiful. You got a lot of nice white breakup on your face. I like it. Look at this over here. <laughs> this one screams bloody murder all the time. The fact that she's not screaming now, she, she's getting less and less as she gets a little older, a couple days old now. But the night they were born, I had left over here at 11 p.m., finished up my chores, milking, feeding, and all that, and checked on all the babies and held them all and gave them kisses. Everybody gets goodnight kisses. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so I left here. I went to the house to walk the dogs. I... I bring Nugget outside to walk her, and I hear this one. It is 330 feet from the house to the barn. The closest point of the house to the closest point of the barn is 330 feet. So I was probably 400 feet away from this barn with the doors closed, the windows closed, and I could hear this little potato screaming. Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, did I scare you? So, Mississippi babies, the little beauty beauts. This dude is massive. You got a man belly already. Look at you, you got a gut already. Watch sticking your fingers down there, you'll get peed on. Hi! I mean, he is he is a monster. I don't know if you guys, I try to do size comparisons, but it doesn't seem to come out in the camera quite right. If you're standing here, I don't want to cheat and put him in front and make him look even bigger, but it's not showing. I mean, he's just huge. Comparatively, I mean, he is a beast. So, that's it. That's Mississippi babies in a nutshell. And they are absolutely beautiful. I love this guy. You might be, do you have blue eyes? Let me see those pretty eyes. Can I, oh, look at your tough face. Look at your tough face. Let me see your pretty eyes. I want to see your pretty eyes. <laughs> Turn around here, you goop. You are probably going to... No, you're going to... Really? Oh, my... Oh, okay, drama. Okay, drama. Okay. You're probably going to end up with brown eyes. Oh, do you want me to hold you as well? But if I pick you up, you scream. Hi. She, I didn't want you to pick me up. I just wanted to stand beside you and bleat. Bleat, 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 bleat. All right, guys. That's it for the Mississippis. Let everybody out in a few days. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.